Konnichiwa and welcome back to Marvel Contest of Champions guys. Today's video is starting to look at the Conclave. Now I did see a fantastic video by Seaton on this um, but I felt that there was a few things that we just need to kind of like cover and also kind of compare to. Now I've been playing the game for two years in January obviously uh, there's other players and other people that have played it for a lot longer um, I think by one month I'm saying a lot longer but the game's actually only been out for uh, for, ne for nearly two years actually I think it's, I'm pretty certain it's two years next month December sometime don't quote me on that though but I just know that I've been playing since January 2015 so yeah nearly coming up to the two-year anniversary and uh, what what I have to say about this is obviously the conclave was a fantastic fantastic achievement with regards to Kabam's evolution of the game to start off with the levels uh, were just so interesting with the addition of portals now I thought they were going to be more random with regards to where they're going to go but then that was really kind of reserved for anything you do with rifting and I will get on with that I don't know why I call it rifting I'll we'll call it rifting so to start off with the levels and people might be wondering why I've completed beginner normal heroic obviously and master all of them I've completed them all because of the rewards and it's based on rifts as well so that's the only reason that I've completed all of them is to get all of these tier one dimensional shards for normal all of the tier two ones for for sorry for beginner, beginner and normal to complete all the shards and get them all um, I had to collect them all because I wanted to enter the rifts as much as possible. The resources that Kabam were giving us out as a potential chance to get were amazing. Absolutely amazing. It gives, if it's, and if you can put your all into it, those ma that master level, and you can complete it, and you can get into a master, then, and I mean, you could even do it with heroic, and then build them up with the the dailies because that's another thing that was fantastic kabam actually gave us anybody an opportunity to potentially get into a master rift how seven day events so they give you five thousand shards at the end of day seven and obviously you've got you got three thousand the day before you've got two thousand the day before that one thousand the day before that and it all adds up so you're getting into them you're getting into beginner you're then getting the 5,000 shards to then go into normal and then you're getting the further 5,000 shards then to get into heroic so kabam are giving you the opportunity to get those decent rewards regardless of the level of play which is this is unheard of they've not offered anything like this I don't think ever so that is a that's, a that's a fantastic and it's a testament to, like I said, the evolution of the game. You got a better chance to get a tier 4 class catalyst by using rifts than you got from purchasing. So this is like a freebie. Kabam give you a free opportunity and you're working for it, which is... That's unheard of. Kabam have never done this. But I think that kind of like went, went over the top of people's heads. Um, and taking like a literal thing there, you know, with Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy, um, let it go overhead. I, my, I will catch it. My reflexes are so good. It's like, it's like that. The um, we we completely missed it. Another great thing is you could collect any kind of normal based uh, rift fragments. I'm going to call them rift fragments from things with regards to solo questing. So. On rewards, you'll be able to get di dimensional crystal shards. Well, dim sorry, dimensional crystal shards, they're called. And that's that's fantastic on all of them. Even alliance events, you can get stuff like heroics. You can get, obviously, there, the, the normal, the tier two ones. Um, the reward giving out at the end, you know, you could get master. There, is, there were so many opportunities to get these, these shards to then go into the rifts again and again. And I've been into, this is... The day of recording this video is the 29th of November and I've been into the Master Rift about three times now. I'm planning to go in for a fourth. Um, it's just getting the last remaining stuff to get up there, which will probably either happen this week or next week. There's a uh, maybe a fifth time. I don't know. I suppose top alliances will be able to get into Master Rifts quite regularly, especially if they're getting top, top rewards. Now, people might be wondering, well, um, has this really kind of come to a better point with regards to Kabam's evolution and yes now uh, not a lot of people will know that back in 2015 I want to say 2015 or early 2016 
we had an Ant-Man based event. And if you guys have played this long, you will remember that there were some kind of similarities to what they did with this one in Pim Canisters. If you guys remember Pim Canisters, now I have talked about this with Rizzo the Legend. We did a top five uh, changes we would like to see to Marvel Contest of Champions. And maybe we should revisit that if you guys want to then let me know in the comments. In that video, which you can find on this channel, we actually discussed and we both agreed that the idea that if you did, did like events, um, same thing with resource collection and uh, alliance events where you're getting these shards, you got Pim Canisters in this event. The Pim Canisters then allowed you to enter into a specific arena which you bought into by placing your canisters. So it was like, I think it was either one or it was either one or three canisters for one three, um, a team of three to then go into that particular arena. And what it did was it thinned out the herd. It then meant that Kabam were running at the time mm, two three star arenas and two four star arenas. This meant that people's agendas were either to go into the four star arena of to get a yellow jacket or an ant-man or go into the normal one which was just the standard featured champion of of the day this i found to be fantastic and it was brilliant because then people were then put the milestone levels down so it was less there were less kind of um uh numbers to hit than than the other one so people were then deciding right do i want this champion or do i want to go for ant-man or the yellow jacket or do i want to go for this or that and it just meant that it was more, it then spread everything out. So your traffic is then in different places. But, you know, a lot of people may remember that or may not remember that. So apart from that particular event, the Ant-Man, Pim Canister and the Micro Universe, I want to say it was called the Micro or, or Mini Universe. Ah, oh, what was it called? It was called something sciency. I, I, multi, no, it wasn't multiverse. It was, it was something, um, something kind of like unique to that and specific to uh, to Ant Man, which I, I really can't remember. But I remember it well, not well enough to remember the name, but still rem enough to remember it well. So, if you remember that, then let me know in the comments because it'd be interesting to see how many people actually remember that event with the Pim canisters. And I must say, if Gabam are really kind of going to be doing this in future. I think it might be difficult for them to be continuing this on unless they are revisiting the idea of the like pim canistery type thing where you have to get extras in order to get more so obviously the extra shards here mean you can get into more rifts if they do that then that that is something where the game needs to go back to rather than forward revisit the past use the past as inspiration move forward evolve the uh the ideas of what they're doing for questing so let's see what happens next month and if it's as good if not better but anyway thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please hit that like button comment on stuff with regards to um the pim canisters and what you thought about the event and did you remember the pim canisters did you not and your thoughts on it um and uh yeah like subscribe if you're not subscribed and as always i shall catch you on the flip side and don't forget to follow me on social media the link is in the description below Bye bye